Simon Hello. Uh, from NextEd Group, General Manager of International Business Development. Yes, correct. Thank you so much for joining us. Hi, um, everyone. <laughs> my first question for you. So Simon used to, well, was part of the founding team of International Student Volunteers. I was one of the early members. Yes. Yeah. Um, so the kings and queens of guerrilla marketing. Correct. And I'd love for you to kind of share, was there anything specific that you learnt through that those experiences that you've applied to kind of your more recent roles in terms of how education providers can connect with students? Absolutely. Um, the power of a passionate presentation. We would get uh, people in a room and we'd deliver a 45 minute presentation without PowerPoints, without videos, and it was just somebody talking about travel, the benefits of travel, the benefits of volunteering, and, and it's all about choosing the right person to make that presentation, to bring that emotional connection. And I feel so many videos right now try and be everything to everyone, or presentations are trying to please everyone, but they're not giving a targeted message, and they're not choosing the right person with a, um, a targeted speech. So I like to go back to basics, get a bunch of people in a room, have a really amazing presenter there to motivate and drive these kids to make a decision or to take action builds trust and credibility and does so much more than a video ever would. Yeah, nice. And has that been something that, like, do you produce a lot of content within the Next Ed group? No, not, not me personally. We did a video campaign with our, our agency, Go Study Australia, a little while ago. Um, I made a matrix of content ideas, so life in Australia, institutions, travel tips, and then we wrote out all these content pieces and we did a big filming exercise. Uh, we made about a hundred different content pieces across five different languages. And we just filmed it all in a, in a matter of uh, a week and then edited it and then uh, published it over a period of time. And it's been this real great piece of evergreen content that we've had going forever. But again, that's, you've, you spend a lot of time creating this stuff and not many institutions or organizations spend enough time promoting it. And there's a general rule for every dollar you spend creating, you should spend eight times the amount promoting it. We did not live up to that rule. So we've got all this amazing content. When people find it, they love it, but we haven't really pushed it out enough. Going back to basics, our strategy at Ghost Study is very personalized. We get the right people in front of the right students and do very much a face-to-face -face rather than a mass market. Mm -hmm. So we've, we've tried a lot of everything, but nothing beats that one-on-one -on -one interaction yeah, for us. That. You're a you know, senior leader within the education sector, but yep. also seem to be a very hands-on marketer still. Very much. I'd love for you to share like either something that you guys have done or something that you've seen that you were like, that is a really epic campaign and um, someone that you think is kind of leading the way there. Really good question. When you think about education and travel, there's an investment to be made. And some people do it for, I want to have a fun experience. Some people do it to change their lives. There's this concept of transformation. And uh, we were trying to work out how do we capture that in a campaign some time ago? Um, and how do we use that desire to transform and turn that into action? But also if you turn that into action for one person, you're just capturing action for one person. So how do we amplify that? So we developed a campaign some time ago, we called it Open Your Eyes. And the whole concept was by traveling to Australia, you will open your eyes. Mm. You'll open your eyes to new experiences, new ways of thinking, um, new friendships. You will grow as a person and grow as a global citizen. So we're like, okay, cool, that's, that's a nice message. We recorded a beautiful video about that. But then it's like, well, okay, what are we gonna do? You, we, we'd arrange a scholarship program where someone would get a 12-week scholarship to study English, then they'd get a homestay and they get all these activities. It's a very cool, cool prize, worth about 20 grand per person in total just to submit a video was not enough. So what we actually did was we made everyone submit a video about how this experience will help them open their eyes and what they want to yeah, do. Yeah, cool. And then we developed a platform where they uploaded that video and had to share it with their friends. Mm. And their friends had to vote and comment. And um, by doing that, they also had to submit their contact details. And the idea was not just to have this one person take action, but to have a halo effect and have everyone supporting their friend to open their eyes and then inspiring themselves to go, well, maybe I want that experience as well. And uh, on a very limited budget, we got fantastic results. We got tens and tens of thousands of entries. We had a huge brand exposure for us and our partners. And um, more importantly, we, we had three of these scholarships to give away. 
um, students from France, Italy, and Spain, and they had an amazing trip. They documented their experience and they shared it back with all of their friends afterwards. So yeah, it's really happy That's with so that. That's so cool. I great. love that. Congrats on the results. That's no epic. Yeah, it was fun. So you oversee a big group of education providers. Like yep. how do you approach marketing for each of them um, on kind of a lean team, but also delivering marketing at scale? Yeah, great question. Um, each of our brands has their own marketing team and the messaging is very, very different. So Greenwich College, largest English college in Australia, has a very different message to AIT, which delivers um, courses in animation and game design. Very different audience. So we generally have um, unique marketing teams that promote to their audience. And it's reasonably inefficient because you've got a set of marketing people on each team. We've tried having a centralized marketing team, mm -hmm. but we felt that they didn't really live and breathe the brand essence and the brand values at a, at a centralized stru structure. So we've separated into marketing teams. I guess I'll use the example of Go Study Australia. So Go Study has 400 partners in Australia from universities to English language colleges to high schools. And um, we get a lot of requests from uh, these partners to run specific campaigns. In some cases, we'll do that. If, if they want to allocate a specific budget and say, I want to enter this market, let's run a campaign, great. But most of them just go, just, I want students, what can you do? And we can't give preference to one provider over another. So Go Study Australia's strategy is to do destination marketing. We put messages out there saying, come study in Australia, we'll make your dreams come true. And then they, when, when again they come into us, that's that personalized, you tell us what you want and we'll find the right partner for you. And that allows us to produce a messaging at scale. So we can maybe do something like study healthcare in Australia, but we don't have to say study healthcare at X provider yeah. because we're not gonna be limiting our options there. Yeah. Um, in many of our markets, um, the providers aren't very well known because Go Study deals in mainly working holiday markets. And the big providers, the big universities that have big brand names, they're not the people that we're targeting. So it's more about that experience of studying in Australia. And then we, we guide them through the next steps of how to choose their provider afterwards. Amazing. Yeah, it's a big job. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can imagine. But you've got a lot of energy, so. Lots of energy. <laughs> hey, thank you so much no uh, for joining us today. I really, really appreciate your time. Thanks for having me. See you later.